Did you know that you could predict a person's personality and behavioral style from a phone call? And that if you don't adjust your presentation to their style, you'll likely find communication issues with that customer. I'm Debbie Mayer, a coach with The End Result in Chicago, Illinois. Let's take five minutes to learn how to better understand how your customer communicates so you can adjust your approach and better read what's going on with them. You go to a listing presentation and notice that there are no knickknacks in the house, everything is perfectly aligned, and the home is spotless. You sense the person is detail-oriented, so you adjust your listing presentation on the fly to ensure you give them the details they want in a concise way rather than going into story mode. Congratulations! You've just helped the potential sellers feel confident in your abilities because you speak their language. Here are four different personality types and how you can reach them. Remember, most people have two dominant styles, so don't pigeonhole people. Instead, look for clues that help you present. The first is the driver. This person is straightforward, uses words such as, let me tell you, and here's what I want. Drivers don't like to beat around the bush, and you'll find their emails to be very direct. There isn't a lot of, hi, how are you? This person likes to be in charge. With this personality, make sure you use appropriate data that sets you apart. Be straightforward and avoid any fluffy language. Customize your presentation as this personality likes to feel important. I always recommend you start with school district information if that's their hot button because they want just the facts. Pay attention to how they are reacting to your presentation, so ask open-ended questions, as this driver tends to answer yes or no with little detail. The next personality is the expressive. This individual is very communicative and expresses themselves easily. They love to keep a conversation going. They're good listeners but want to be heard. When you walk into a room, the expressive usually has four or five people around them. But what's challenging about this person is they can tend to be hard to pin down because they have a tendency to be all over the board. Many have trouble making decisions. They like showy, colorful, fun things. So when you think about the language you use in your presentation, keep it fun. Tell stories rather than just giving facts. Make it personal. Don't just quote numbers. Because this person gets sidetracked easily, create checklists for them with customized timelines, deadlines, and send them reminders. Don't rush the discussion with them. Get to know this person before getting into the presentation. The third personality is amiable. The difference between amiables and expressives is that amiables ask more questions, while expressives will tell you what they want and like to be in control. An amiable is a good listener, but not as quick to be assertive. Note that most of the questions they will have will be about something they dislike, so pay attention to their tone of voice. With this personality, you read between the lines, watch their body language. They can be chameleon-like and change easily to different scenarios, so they can be hard to navigate. Make sure you get them talking and really listen to what they say. They're drawn to the customer experience and emotions. So if you have testimonials that talk about you, show them those. They also want to know who will be involved in their transaction. So if you have a team, they want to know about all the specific people on that team. They are process driven, but show authenticity and put a positive spin on things. They don't like negativity. And finally, we have the analytical personality. They like control but will ask for it rather than take it. This person is self-controlled and practical. They like facts. They're economical, consistent, and fairly reserved. This is not someone who will share a lot personally with you until they get to know you. They are tied to proven statistics. They're cautious decision makers and will have a lot of questions, so anticipate the types of detailed questions that they could ask. They want your professional experience, not your personal opinion. They study the fine print. Do your research on where they work and what their job is like. They don't like generalizing. They want written research and data, so have that available. 
Remember, there are no good or bad personality styles. You want to treat others the way they want to be treated. So make sure that all of your communication, written, text, verbal, responds in their style. Do this and you're sure to build trust between you and your customers.